Welcome to the Shrimp Tail Show. This is the talk show for the Shrimp Society where we cover the inside stories, the banter, the updates, kind of looking at the week behind, what are the big things coming up, giving some behind the scenes alpha on the community, a very build in community view of, of what's going on here. And uh, hosted by me, this is Chris Daniels, the founder of the Shrimp Society, and Garrett Duncan, who is our newly. Uh, air, air, air. Yeah, our new, our new community manager. Man, let's start right there, dude. Congrats. Congrats on joining the team officially. You earned thank it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been doing my thing out here, grinding for the shrimp. Shrimp till I die. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. I feel bad because, like, we had talked to you about it, you know, personally, right? Like, we, we'd asked you to yeah, in, be a community Miami. manager, like, a month ago. <laughs> in, in Miami, at yeah, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then and then i think it was one of those things where i was like hey luke did we announce that hey brian did we announce that and they were like at, at brian would be like ask luke and then i asked luke and he's like oh ask brian and then i was like oh i think we did and then i talked to you and i'm like damn man we never even threw our guy on we gotta let the world know so yeah man how's it feel first first week in the job <laughs> my first week in the job has been going great uh, <laughs> it feels like i've been doing it for a month but <laughs> No, it's good. It's really good to be here. It's nice. I was excited. Some boys threw me some hype in the chat. That was always a good feeling, you know? Yeah, I love that. I love that. I mean, let's let's kick off right there with with kind of your shrimp story. We wrote about it in The Current. If anyone listening is not up on The Current, The Current is our weekly newsletter. It comes out Monday mornings, which is just kind of boom, bullet points of everything you need to know what's going on in the shrimp. Last week, week ahead on the radar, and we just started featuring a shrimp of the week, and Garrett was our first one. So, Garrett, yes. why don't you why don't you tell us kind of your abbreviated you know story and how you got to the shrimp? Let's start there. A quick abbreviated story, you know, I did the typical childhood things, played sports. I feel like the one thing that was kind of atypical that got me prepared was I was actually president of our I guess you could call it Spirit Club in high school. We called it Stampede, but so that consisted of you know, like running flags at football games and stuff. But I was, I grew up in Houston. So it was a uh, high school football was huge. Had a lot, a lot of people go to games. So I just really enjoyed being in the, in the limelight. And I felt like that, you know, just started, started solidifying my people skills. And then went to college, LSU, go Tigers, baby. Did the, did the fraternity thing there and then graduated and, you know, met, met Luke in college through some mutual friends and heard about the shrimp not too long ago in October, actually, I heard about the shrimp and, you know, didn't, didn't know anything about NFTs, anything about, you know, crypto, blockchain, any of that got into the shrimp and just started feeling it out and ended up booking a, you know, two week notice trip to Miami for Basel. And that was kind of <laughs> the, the, you know, head over heels introduction, you know, just full send into <laughs> into nfts and you know kind of fell in love from there i was like this is something i could i could believe in and i could grind for so yeah i remember that when i when i met you all you guys were already at the event you were all <laughs> at the wharf already setting up yes like, me or luke or brian or anybody even got there you were just like ready to go you're like we already set up we talked with nifty we're good to go <laughs> I'm like all right yeah we got to nah, get these guys was, on the team <laughs> it was really funny luke, it was like 12 o'clock like 11 30 and luke was like i'm about to walk to the wharf and we we're like for the event it's at like 1 30 he was like <laughs> yeah go to set up and we we're like shit let's go like <laughs> and then i mean yeah talking to the nifty guys is great shout out nifty they're doing big things and then thing. what better introduction than the wharf to the nft world you know like that was two yachts, a packed bar. Yeah, that, that was that was a blast, man. I feel like that's like my last memory. I feel like that's where like the year. Uh, honestly, that's like my last memory of twenty twenty one. I don't even know what happened the next three weeks. It was just like <laughs> that was matter. it. I remember that we went to the we went to the gutter cat dinner, and that was that was all right. And did I ever tell you the story of the <laughs> the dude who like stabbed the gutter cat statue, the chocolate statue? He did what? Dude, this was, this was, this was strange. So we had this, we hosted the gutter cats, you know, it's a huge NFT project, so I'm sure you know. And we hosted them for like their kingpin dinner. And so it was like all their big holders, right? Like they have a separate chat, kind of like their jumbos, right? But like even like, I think yeah. the threshold's even, even bigger. And 
you know, their project had been in the space for a while. So everyone had made, you know, a ton of money from, from the gutter cats and the pigeons and everything like that. So anyway, it was about probably like 15 of us. We were with Lucian, shout out Lucian, who, because everybody else was just so wiped out. It was after the wharf, right? So partying all day at the wharf. And then I was like, all right, we got to go home for dinner. I wanted to stay at the wharf because that's where, <laughs> where the gang was at. But anyway, so we went super fancy, like Ritz Carlton on Kibis Gain. It's nice dinner. And the the guy, Sebastian, whose building we put the mural on, he wanted, he's a big gutter cat guy. And so he hosted, he was like co-hosting the dinner and he has a private, has, or like his company, his market has a private chocolate chef. So this dude created an entire chocolate sculpture of a gutter cat. I po- we posted it on Twitter. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like, it's on Twitter. It's on the shrimp Twitter somewhere. But it was like a beautiful, I mean, dude, I'm talking like a three foot tall chocolate sculpture. And we're like taking pictures of it. And everyone's stoked. And then this gutter cat dude is like, hey, like, can I get a butcher knife? And we're all like, what? And, uh, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then he like, he had a mask of his gutter cat. Like, I don't know what that's called. Like a rubber mask, you know, like a, like a Halloween mask. That was literally the exact replica that he painted of his, his gutter cat. And he like, like was like shanked the chocolate sculpture like as like a joke and like the chef that just spent a month making this thing is he right was just there crafting it. it was his masterpiece and i'm like looking around like what the hell is going on and we're like at a restaurant like a private room but it's like you know you can still kind of like see it. and i'm like dude it was it was it was very strange after that i was like I'm going home. I know everybody went out that night. I like crashed on my couch. I came home like I'm done. And that was just, that was a, That's that was it. a weird last memory it's from, the the from Art Basel. Yeah, that was very weird. But anyway, yeah, hopefully like when we have a chocolate sculpture of a shrimp, nobody shanks it. I'd be pissed. Oh, we're hiring bodyguards for that. <laughs> we're, we need something more permanent than a chocolate sculpture. If we're going to sculpture, let's get it. Let's get a marble bust of the shrimp. <laughs> I'm about it. Just carve and stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. So hit me. Uh, the format that we're trying out for this is basically just, you know, like Garrett kind of has five hot takes. I have five hot takes and we're just going to kind of riff on them everything that's that's a shrimp tail everything everything's in bounds for this you know but hit me with something what did you what did you see last week or what's on your docket i have no idea we don't tell each other either so we're just riffing off this i just want to say t navs and in the discord has called divs on shanking the shrimp sculpture so we need to keep some eyes on him if we ever do that (laughs) we got eyes on him (laughs) Yeah, that actually kind of leads nicely into my my first talking point. I feel like when I got into the shrimp in October, we already just had this great discord, so we don't really add a ton to it. But this week we got some changes, man. Yes, big we week. Some nice, some nice changes in the discord. So we had the local channels come out, which I feel like has been a long time coming. Yeah, uh, we've had three kind of main main groups starting to emerge within the shrimp we got the the hometown miami kids obviously and then we got our frozen shrimp up north <laughs> and then the nola boys they're quiet man the the up north shrimp been quiet bro. they're actually frozen i think they're just trying to survive you know what i mean it's like i, I don't hear <laughs> I as mean, much we got three we got three frozen shrimp in here right now we got yeah. two halves k-rolls and frank there you go warming up they're all frozen <laughs> yeah rolling deep they're trying they're trying to get some heat out shrimp tails this week <laughs> i love it i saw burley's picture earlier it's like 15 degrees up there so yeah. prayer prayers for my for my northern yeah. shrimp but yeah so those three channels came out i think i um, see some people starting to plan meetups in there which i think is really cool yeah what's i know in the miami channel we're talking about maybe hitting a bar just like a brewery or something like that we want to hit a place that's on the on the reef flat or on the reef club so that, you know, we have the, yes. the Benny's 20% off or we're thinking either Cerveceria or Riverside. So I think like that's just probably going to come together as like an unofficial thing Thursday, you know, and just go grab some beers or whatever, hang out. And dude, that kind of, that kind of just points back to the original, like one of the shrimp goals is like using Benny's once a week. If you got a weekly meeting at a reef club, boom. Boom. That's once a week, Benny's. That's minimum. it. Yeah, wait. Stick to the plan, huh? I guess that was always the plan. We just <laughs> let's do yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, that was always the plan. Uh, so it's, <laughs> it's destiny. It is. So I'm pretty stoked on that. That's gonna be uh, gonna be good. I know. I think Jared, 
from kind of the Miami Shrimp crew is leading that charge. You know, Jared writes for 137, which is Gary Vee's like NFT publication. Yes, I did actually. I've done I've done a little bit of talking to him. I actually, I think he has a project. He uh, does. We're talking about yeah, 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 the Mary Pranksters. Okay, I was making sure we were talking about the same person. Yep, yeah. And I think the last time I talked with him at Puros, he was going to do it on. Uh, on Solana, right? I think he talked to King Dev and everything, and he was going to do it all on Solana. Fully support that. And obviously, once that starts rolling, shrimp are going to mob that. We're going to ape in heavy. Yeah. Shrimp support shrimp. Because that's all, that's music-based. I don't know yeah. the details of it. It's just like over my head with music, but I know it's... I Have you dove into any of that, like music NFTs? I feel like I'm... I get it at a high level, obviously, right? Like royalties and, and things like that and yeah. special releases. I know like, oh, Meek Mill did something. Did you see that, Meek Mill? Meek like... Mill is doing something. He's been tweeting about it actively too. And then, bro, Nas. Really? Nas is releasing his next album. Yeah, and I actually looked into that. He has like a tiered structure of release. So you can like get like a f- like $250 and that's like point like oh two like something percent royalties and then like the next that there's a mid-tier which is a little bit more money and you get more royalties and like some merch and then like the highest tier which is actually like it's like 0.01 percent royalties or something like pretty nice and then like vip tickets signed merch so i i don't know i haven't really dove into the music nfts scene but i mean from yeah high level standpoint it's something that honestly seems natural yeah, and it's one of, it's it's one of the earliest use cases we're starting to see from NFT. So I'm excited to see that get more fleshed out. Yeah, definitely. I think that's going to be uh, it, it's going to definitely take some iterations. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be ugly yeah, for a while, yeah, yeah. but that's all good. Uh, you know what I mean? We got guys like Nas and Meek Mill leading the way for exactly. us. Exactly. Wanted uh, to something else, new channel wise. We got the Shrimp Effect channel. Which is kind of just like low key is, hanging out there, but it's a huge channel. There's been a couple good entries actually. I think I think Bo was the first one. Let's see, yeah, Bo was the first one. He threw it back to our Basil. A great picture. Oh, that's love such that. a good picture, dude. Yeah, that's such a good picture. I love it. Yeah, and then Shiner hit a good one, but I'm wait. I'm waiting to see some. I'm waiting to see that channel get some love. I'm excited to see all the shrimp effect moments Definitely. that come out of this. We have like 20 testimonials from last year at the end of the year, from mm-hmm. kind of like fellowship companies. And we got to get them, get them in there, get them going. But I think when we're, so, you know, the alpha that's going on with Matrica and Grape and all that, that's not even on my notes, but we should talk about a that. A little bit, but let's definitely, so, let's definitely talk about that. So, it's topic. Yeah, it's a hot topic. And everyone's trying to be like, why isn't the discord token get it so yeah grape grape protocol is like the main it's kind of like this they're trying to be almost like this social like this social protocol i don't know if i'm butchering this i'm gonna pull up their website but it's, it's basically <laughs> like that they, they're trying to be this protocol that helps you bridge between you know users and users token and token gating things and then they also have like a, a token and things like this the grape token so anyway it's like the main solana token gating you know like collab land and so for, especially for discords and so with them they're backed up and it's a very manual process like we've been talking to them for a month trying to get this going that's been in the works for a long time they, we've been talking about that dude yeah look we we added their their bot we added every bit like admin permissions mm-hmm. everything and then they're basically their excuse is just like they're manually going through they have to like manually connect everything with the wallet addresses or something and then someone else so then we talked to someone that uh luke brought in that was like part of one of the hack houses he was at or something called uh the company or whatever the product called matrica badass product so badass i love it it's gonna take the community by storm check this out it's token it's it's much simpler and it's real time token gating for your discord channels but you can set it based on attributes quantity or anything you want so you could literally you can uh, you can have a so sick. yeah 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 so you can have a legit jumbo channel you can have uh whatever you want you can have all of that you have like a galaxy shell channel mm-hmm. like I, i've seen like different clubs forming within other projects of like specific traits and specifically yeah and that's cool exactly and you know don't want to get don't want to release the ultimate alpha crack in here mm-hmm. but when we talk about shells token 
and the DAO token, you can also implement that as well. So things like, okay, maybe you have to have a certain amount of shells staked to join Alpha Knight or something like that, right? It's just like infinitely composable and it's a user interface yeah. super simple, but that's not even the best part. Check this out. They have, uh, so you, they have all that running. It's all real time, unlike Grape, which is like every 14 days they scan or something like that. This is real time. So like if you're, if you sell your shrimp, like you're out, you know what I mean? If that's your only shrimp in your wallet. Yeah. yeah. And oh, wow. it's like real time. It's crazy. So, but then they have a whole community platform that gives you an Instagram looking, it's like an Instagram looking profile that shows all of your NFTs in your wallet on your profile. You can like, has your discord name. It has like all of this stuff. And then they're building out like a timeline feature and kind of like more like directory community chat, things like that. I don't know if it's going to be full chat, but some sort of like way to connect, you know, people on the platform. So I can basically go on there, look up your, you know, look, look you up and see like all the shrimp that you have, see your rarities and you can hide stuff too. Like you can only say like, okay, I just want to show shrimp. I want to whatever. So now you can like jumbo check someone. Yeah, exactly. Like in the street, be like, yo bro, you're saying you're a jumbo. (laughs) I saw, I see on your profile. You only got eight shrimp, dude. Yeah. Go scoop one of those. (laughs) Go scoop one of those 0.75 off the floor. Those are making me so mad. We're like, I I don't know if it's like one person has them listed at (laughs) 0.75, but I'm like, they're just chilling. Yeah, they've been chilling at 0.75 for a minute now. Oh, that also makes me think, did you see what I dropped in Discord? The main channel about that, that those price charts? How cool is that? Soul Radar? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't see... Wait, you put that in the Discord? Yeah, general channel. Screenshot. If you go to soulradar.io... Uh, I, I didn't even see him in the Discord. Yeah. I the... This little kind of like janky soul app is super nice for for showing like the aggregate across the collection so it pulls from magic eden and i think there's a way to do like unique holders i don't know if that's like a premium feature but this is super simple floor price three day one week one month average price volume and listed count super nice yeah. to see so we're gonna be able to like drop that now i don't know how we're gonna figure that maybe like weekly we'll, we'll drop it or anybody can look it up anytime. We got to talk to the troops on that. But, uh, but yeah, a lot of moves, honestly, in the Discord. We also archive some channels. I Okay, hear me out on this while we're talking about channels. I don't like the aesthetic of our channels. What do you think about doing like a triple dash or like some? You know how like some other Discords, like it's just like really, they have like the li- oh. the lines between the emoji. I and mean, this is like yeah. super granular, but whatever. It's the it's the shrimp tail show. This is what it's for. No, yeah, and it's the way we're 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 spitballing stuff. We're it's the peek behind the curtain. It is, it is. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about making a little bit of design changes with with the Discord. I I feel like it's there's a lot that I'd like to maybe like compress into some things. And also with, you know, with, with Matrica, we'll be able to like unveil certain things, right? So maybe if you have multiple shrimp, then certain channels, like if you're Jumbo, then certain channels open up, things like that. Once we, once we get token gated, we'll just have to do an overhaul. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think so. It'll be nice. So it'll be fresh. It'll be sick. The last channel that I had, which I honestly think is going to be the best channel in the shrimp, hands down. Like I love shrimp effect. I love the local channels, but I have been waiting for the jobs and hiring channel yes. to, to, to become a thing. And it is finally here. Dude, within the past two days, there's already been multiple shrimp asking for like Web3, like devs, that channel. And once we get the job board linked up to that. Yeah, I was going to say. If, if, <laughs> if somebody hasn't seen that yet, it's under the builder channels, jobs and hiring. And so we got a couple shrimp literally already asking like, Please yeah. apply to this company. Yeah. We need people. So I think that is going to go nuts once that gets rolling. Yeah. And as Web3 just starts to get more traction and momentum. Dude. Oh, yeah. That is, let me tell you, this is some alpha. That is the tip of the iceberg because we just, I guess, like contracted or I don't know, went with a new vendor called Job Board Fire that is going to be our new job. And it is fire. It is an awesome job board. And it's expensive, but it's worth every single penny. It's going to allow shrimp members who to list any jobs. They can like do like promotions, things like that. There's kind of like opportunities to be like, hey, I want in the newsletter, whatever it is. And it's going to auto yeah. pull like through a Zapier connection, 
every new job just hitting hitting that channel so like literally just going to be a Boom. feed of all these jobs and in one click you're going to the job board you're seeing everything and you can apply right there and on the on the uh, employer side you actually have a whole like like kanban of your applicants so like your whole interview process can be run right through this which is like massive value wow. if you're, you know, like no, startup that's incredible startup founders don't have that it's like you're trying to you're, it's either like a spreadsheet or notion or whatever which is great but this is straight from the source which is also really going to be nice to encourage people that are looking for jobs to go there because it is more advantageous for for you know a hire to go there so i'm super excited on that like it's uh it's a big lift but once that thing is running it's just going to be like you know Boom, boom, boom. No, Jobs that's going to be incredible. And I mean, an- another thing that startups have, you know, a lot of trouble with is just recruiting. I mean, getting matched up with a founder who they feel like, you know, is going to be valuable, like a, a, a good match. And so I think, you know, even back to the, the OG shrimp before the NFT, like that's what it was about, right? Just networking and, and get it together mm-hmm. with a bunch of builders and finding you know a potential match we we already got a couple people through the shrimp who've been connected connected yeah. to jobs and we don't even have the job board up like yeah <laughs> i know i like the more and more i don't know did you see in the in the team chat where i just, today at like 2 p.m out of nowhere i just posted we're building a city <laughs> yes we, yes i was i, I was I love deep, it <laughs> i was deep down a rabbit hole like thinking about <laughs> the community and, and the shrimp <laughs> and like we really just like the big focus at least for me is like building highways and stations along those highways or the, along those streets so like now the job board it's like so many people ask hey can i like you know anyone who's hiring do you know this blah blah, blah. and it's like now yeah. we have a station now we got now we got shrimp talent depot and we got to build a highway to it that highway is zapier right into the discord mm-hmm. i'm thinking about even maybe we should make our own twitter called like you know, shrimp talent. And it just, it's a straight Zapier connection that just posts all of that. And, you know, just to like get that out there and be that highway system, get these things on, on the train tracks. I mean, that's a, that's a big pain point. And yeah. You know, and, and the shrimp even, you know, people asking for jobs and stuff. So if we can solve mm-hmm. that pain point, that's, that's basic marketing. That's basic business, baby. I know. I know. It's just, it's like so much of this stuff is, is like, not like taping but like yeah honestly taping things together until like the ultimate vision you know it's like we want to have our own custom platform but until then if we can just create connections i think it's the gift dude i burly burly would appreciate you know the the brick builder just day by day Mm -hmm. We're, we're gonna start putting all these mechanisms all these resources in place and one day we're gonna look up and like you said bro we're gonna have a city exactly exactly and we're not even we're not even gonna remember building it yes <laughs> this is gonna we're gonna be like holy crap i literally i was like at the gym and i saw a bus go by and i was like oh my god it all it all makes sense we need buses we need highways <laughs> metaphorical <laughs> and, anyway anyway yeah i got a i got a good I got a good yeah exactly i got a good uh hot take behind the scenes jay mitch oh content king is coming back and he starts tomorrow so yeah, if, uh, if anybody Mitch listening Davis doesn't know, so much. Jay Mitch is Jordan Jordan Mitchell, who's our content multimedia, just like extraordinary everything extraordinaire. Honestly, all yeah, the videos awesome. that you see, the podcast, everything. Jordan is the one making all that, and so he was in like, dude, he was like FaceTiming me from like Croatia, Slovakia, like all these crazy cool places. He had like an Airbnb <laughs> that was like in a warehouse. And he was just all over the place because, like, his parents live in, I think, Switzerland or something like, like that. Switzerland, yeah. Yeah. So pretty stoked about that because our content game has definitely been, you Yeah, know, I don't know if anybody it's been else low. has noticed. It, anybody from the outside looking in might not have noticed. We've all been, everyone's been pitching in, but it's hurting. We're hurting for Jay Mitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I, I'm, I'm excited for that. And we have so much content that we just need to get out yes. the door. And I know you've been on the notion and everything like that. I met with Ernest the other day, yeah. but like that, we're, we're going to be an absolute content factory internally. So pretty excited about that. And, and Jay Mitch is, is leading point on that. He's our, our head of content and media, like officially on the team. And uh, so I'm pretty excited for that. 
so yeah, that was that was something. I think that I think, alone is is an exciting thing. I don't think a lot of other projects have a head of content. Like I think I think that kind of shows where our focus is at. We're providing value, you know, mm-hmm. free content. Hit up our YouTube. Hit up our Spotify. Mm-hmm. Anytime. Exactly. Exactly. Other thing that was kind of on my my hot takes, dude. We got featured in the Miami Herald, like in a big way. <laughs> that was uh, that's huge. That was pretty pretty awesome. I will say though, I thought like they robbed the reporter. I talked with him for a while, and I felt like my quote was kind of like seemed politically charged, and it really wasn't. Like I don't know, it seemed like it yeah. was a hot take on like San Francisco, and like it was not at what? all uh-huh. like in the slightest when I was talking with him. But then when I read the quote, I was like, damn, it kind of like seemed like a like I was taking a shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just seemed like. You. It right. seemed like I was like some super like libertarian or something. I don't know. That's I was right. just any, like, I don't any know. sports <laughs> team, any company, any time anything bad happens, the overarching party tells all the employees, "Don't talk to the press. <laughs> don't I need some talk press to the training. <laughs> you need some press training." But no, that was that. We were actually on the phone when the when the Herald called you, and oh yeah, and, and you were like, "I gotta call you back." The Miami Herald is calling me, and I was like. <laughs> I hope that's really, really good because I feel like that could be just like really bad. But yeah, y'all were on the phone for a hot minute. Yeah, that, that's great. That was I mean, cool. Yeah, that was good. Miami they were they were throwing mud happen. at the shrimp. That's that's gonna be any press is good press. Yeah, definitely on the new site too. We got uh, we got the logos up there. Wired magazine, Miami Herald, Refresh, all that good stuff. Wait, what'd you what you just about- say? What'd you just say about a, a new site? Dude, new website. The new website is going to be awesome. I am so excited. I like, we have been running without a website, like in my, my opinion, real like an, an actual website. Like we have a landing page right now, right? And, and that was for the Mint and that's that's cool. Yeah. But but like now we need, we need like our city map. You know what I mean? We need like every, all that information mm-hmm. out there and, you know, so that we can empower the the shrimp to run with it and be like, Oh, here's the fellowship. Let me share this with my friend who's a founder. Here's the investor network. Let me share this. Oh, here's the calendar too. We got a nice community calendar on there too. So everybody can see everything. They can add it right to their Google uh, calendar as well. And so like everything from this to alpha night to events, hack week, <laughs> everything it's going to be really nice self-service um, i'm just laughing that might be the biggest piece of alpha from shrimp tales episode one and you just tried to slide it in there you're like oh yeah we got, the, <laughs> we got all the wired by on the, on the new website yeah new yeah. website excuse new, me new website going to be fire it's a, it's a perfect merge there's a little bit of a brand tweak on the old shrimp that I'll, I'll leave an Easter egg there, but it's, it's going to, it's just a perfect, perfect marriage of, of everything we're doing. Cause you know, we're, we're building an innovation ecosystem. And like I'm talking about, there's all these different stops, you know, there's all these different kind yeah. of stations and they each, you know, have a lot of information that we need to share and I feel uh, stupid as an organization that like we, we don't, we don't have a lot of information out there yeah, that like, got, people can run with. We a diverse group of shrimp. Everyone wants different things in the shrimp. Yeah, we got to exactly. provide for all that. And we want to. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And also from a content perspective, it's going to be like this podcast, for example, it's going to be on the, you know, it's going to be one of the shows on the shrimp media site where you can like just pull that up on the, on the article and just like listen yeah. to it from your computer or listen to it on Spotify, whatever, and like, just quitting all that. There's so much content to get through still, to like a backlog of it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. We're also featuring like <laughs> full, full team pages, the fellowship, all the companies in the fellowship, all that stuff. I'm going to like break my neck this week trying to, to get that out for next week. At least, you know, 80% of it. Maybe there'll be some pages that, that linger, but we got to get it out there. I mean, this week's, what already, they want. this week's already slammed. I can't imagine. Like, you're, you're over here grinding, Chris. Yeah, we got. Um, uh, oh, I mean, alpha some, nights tomorrow. You're doing alpha night tomorrow, huh? I got some major alpha that I can share right now. Should I share it? I got some major Please, alpha. Please break, break it. I know. So this whole time, I've been, I've been working full time at a cybersecurity startup that I joined. You know, like back in 2018, start of 2018. That's called Secferis. I was like a, uh, the first employee. I started like oh. doing their accounting. Yeah, I got in there as 
doing their accounting, turned out, turned down a job offer at Deloitte, did started just like getting my foot in the door. And, wow. And anyway, we grew that company up and we're like 30 people now, you know, we got customers in Japan and Fortune 500 customers, all this stuff. But anyway, obviously the shrimp has been, you know, the focus of my, of my Everything. life here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it was getting really, really hard to, to do both. So on Saturday, you know, I spoke with our CEO, who's a great friend of mine and a great mentor of mine, and told him I'd be leaving the leaving Sec Barris and I'm going full time on the wow. shrimp. Wow! Yeah, I'm pretty excited. So, congratulations, man! That's thank awesome. thank you, man. I'm That's super awesome. stoked. Super stoked on it. It's a uh, you know a decision that I made a long time ago. It was just kind of getting everything right, both like personally and and with the shrimp and with Sec Barris, figuring out like the right time to leave and everything. We could talk about all that. Learned a lot about employee stock options and all sorts of good stuff that we could talk about on another podcast. But, uh, I'm, I'm uh, not gonna lie to you, Chris. When I joined the shrimp, I thought you were already full time shrimp. Like I thought you weren't weren't on the full time grind outside of that. So I just can't imagine like what where we're gonna go once we have your just unwavering attention. Yeah, we were uh, we were on a like, <laughs> we were on a team call. Like, we were we were on a team call, and I was just kind of like, just you know, I don't know, just yeah, in the zone. You know what I mean? Just really trying to hammer out some details. And uh, and Burley was just like, man, full time full time Chris is a different animal. <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> <laughs> but the truth though is, I feel completely different. I mean, not to like swing the podcast but I feel completely different mentally the vision is complete like not completely different but it's it's bigger and it's it's a completely different mindset that I had just given the mental change and I'm still going to be working at Tech Bears kind of through like early February just yeah know, there's like you know there's just stuff they got to wrap up there and I, and I you know I told them too like I you know I'm not trying to screw the company like we're a 30 person company I there's a lot that I have day to day with them but uh, so i'm like i'm not you know this isn't like i'm leaving tomorrow just like you let me know when you know when it works for everybody if you guys yeah, find you're, first yeah, you're a good guy you got a relationship with them you're not just yeah. burning bridges on your way out no man. no yeah, not at all <laughs> not at all it's, and yeah it's, it's the opposite and they were so happy about it. like they were just like this is the perfect thing for you it's awesome they're they're all supporters they got shrimp so it's all good but yeah man totally different mindset like you know this is kind of my first week just even committed to that, I guess, you know, like kind of have that, that monkey off my back and the plans in motion. So feeling good. That's, that's, that's a big off step. Trip. That that's, wasn't, that wasn't on step. the hot take. <laughs> that wasn't on my hot take notes. But that was a, pretty, a vulnerable uh, good moment hot take. from, from Jumbo Shrimp. We're out here. We're out here. This is a uh, shrimp tails, man. This is the real stuff. Yeah. I just saw a stackable slide in here just now what's up stackable i just wanted to fill you in chris is going full-time with the shrimp alert uh, <laughs> i thought he, he might appreciate that <laughs> shout out stackable what else you got what else what else happened i see i got some things that were pretty big honestly huge week last week massive oh, week it, for the shrimp so like if you weren't paying week. attention like you missed a lot, but even <laughs> writing, writing the current was hard. Cause it like took a really long time because there was so much stuff going on. I had a hard time picking out items like that. I wanted yeah. to bring to the table tonight because I was like, man, yeah. there's so much stuff. Hit me with something. What else you got on your list? So, I mean, this was something that's, I think we kind of talked about it on Sunday dinner a little bit, but the NBA Benny's uh, giveaway last week was really fun. I thought, you that's know, we, we, we did the, if you don't know, the the two traits to get the NBA two tickets to an NBA game it was it was spark and then it was the number three jersey right uh yes so it's a Dwayne yeah. Wade jersey and yeah D Wade that's spark right trait. so yeah for for those that didn't see the announcement we're giving away two free regular season NBA basketball tickets to the owners of the seven shrimp that have this combo of traits they're all lady shrimps they're all fire shrimps honestly like they're all ze- lady shrimps that's yeah cool. all lady shrimps and uh, you got like zebra shell honestly there's some fire shrimp in here like this oh is the- yeah whoever has these like they're rare and you're getting the bennies like you're you're kind of like you're winning right now you're up big <laughs> uh, <laughs> i think there's two, there's two of them on a magic eating yeah i think Kronk did one 
yeah, that guy like I feel like he wins every giveaway. <laughs> or whatever. Like he won he won something like back that. in the day. Yeah, he won uh he won something else. But anyway, yeah, so the way this is gonna work is so we have you know, we made the announcement this week. We have until January fifteenth to I guess kinda like for anything to happen if the I know there's some going on secondaries. What are the prices there's, of the ones going there's on? There's two on Magic Eater right now. Two of them. Yeah. What's their what's the price? What's like um, the buy now? So Again, dinosaur outdated computer. So having trouble loading. <laughs> I was trying to get a live price update for you, but I, I I looked the other day. I think one was like ten soul. I mean, again, rare shrimp, really nice and good. Yeah, shrimp. Uh, the, the spark in the D Wade jersey is is Fresh. heat. But I think one was like ten soul, and then I think maybe one was like eight point five or something. Dang, very nice, very nice. But yeah, out it. out there for grabs for for a hungry whale. Definitely. Yeah, so so how this is going to work is on January 15th, we're going to share the form to submit your sh- your shrimp for the giveaway. So if you own one of those shrimp, uh, you have until the 15th to the 31st to submit that. We're going to obviously check your wallet and everything there to make sure that you're the holder of that shrimp. And then you pick out the game you want to go to. We handle the tickets. And then you just have to hold that shrimp through the end of the game. So it's kind of like, you know, it's not staking, staking, but it's like a, a good faith stake. You know, it's a it's a web two stake of like, you you know. Oh, if you claim, day, the, if you claim the ticket, don't sell the shrimp until after the game. Yeah, okay. and we're, <laughs> yeah we're, we're going to like, you know, up until day of is basically when we're going to do that just to make sure. Because like, th- like, it's not that that person shouldn't get tickets, right? They won and, and they redeemed it. But the issue was kind of like, managing okay if that person got their tickets and then now that shrimp is kind of uneligible for the giveaway we wouldn't want people to like be deceived or something like that and think that it was so i don't know just kind of like just you gotta keep we're looking out for the, the game good of everybody. <laughs> yeah like good it, of everybody and, and maybe it won't be that for like every benny's drop we're figuring out a better system but you know we're all about starting small and then going from there so so yeah, pretty excited for this. I'm excited to see like what games people choose too. Yeah, like yeah. you know, uh, like where are these games gonna be so, anywhere. That'll be pretty cool. I'm excited for that one. And we then, also I mean, kind of that might segue yeah. nicely into just a little talk about the just the shrimp sales. We've had some really nice shrimp sales the past week, and the sales bot. Yeah, sales bot. Sales I love bot, the sales man. bot. I was so slept on. I love it. <laughs> I um, love the sales bot. <laughs> the, the first like shrimp that was an actual picture on the sales bot was like a three point two soul shrimp sale. Yeah. A really nice lady shrimp with sparks. Yeah, so, that yeah, was fire. Now, now we'll be able to hype up any any shrimp sale. Definitely, and we're gonna get the bot like sending to the the Discord as well, so we have that going on on any sales. Yeah, that's nice. I think like we're just building out this whole kind of all these all these just like content forms right like the pieces uh, are coming together all the pieces and now we got the shrimp follow shrimp so you can basically just go there and follow everybody follow the sales bot follow steve aoki on the low steve aoki, <laughs> steve aoki, on the steve aoki is a shrimp holder which we're yet to make an announcement about but that's some alpha for, for tonight it's definitely his dev god luke he's, he's amazing at that but yeah so that that shrimp follow shrimp i actually like that i like basically wake up and while my coffee's brewing, I just go open that up and just rip a like on like everybody there. Cause I'm just like, <laughs> like, likes are free. You know what I mean? Everybody, yeah. uh, everybody deserves some love. So that's, uh, I'm, I'm happy about that too. It blew up too. It was like 200 people on that in like a day. Yeah. I, uh, can personally attest to that. I scrolled, I scrolled through the whole shrimp, follow shrimp list on discord. and was adding everybody in there. I think it's great. <laughs> Again, yeah, like you said, likes are likes are free. And I think that's something our community is good about. You know, that's not something that you would necessarily say is like a binny or anything, but like it feels good when you get a notification. Like, oh your tweets are blowing up. You're getting likes yeah. on your tweets. And I'm like, percent I'll I'll scroll through and uh see Twitter accounts and it's like oh they have like fifty followers and they have like a shrimp PFP and I'll like click on their followers list and like scroll through and it's literally just like 50 shrimp pfps <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm like this yeah. are, this person made their twitter for the shrimp and just had like all of the sh- like shrimp interactive on twitter follow i think that's really yeah. cool 
I love that. I love that. I'm all about that. And like, honestly, I don't know if I was venting to you or Burley or, or whoever, but like, I saw some communities and I'm doing air quotes right now, some communities that are kind of <laughs> like esteemed communities, like, you know, esteemed communities. And on Twitter, they have like one follower or zero follower, or I mean, they, they follow like zero people or one people. It's kind of like a yeah. status thing. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, dude, I'm like, fuck that. That is not, <laughs> that is like, at least to me and how I think about community building is like, that is so stupid. <laughs> and well, kind of like, listen, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a signaling thing. Yeah. It's pretentious. It's, it's holier than thou because of my follower to followed ratio. Yeah. And well, I'm like, on, I, <laughs> I want, I want, I think the shrimp Twitter should follow every single person as a shrimp holder and like yeah. every single one of their tweets because Absolutely. we're here to support where this is our community. We're out here repping them. You know what I mean? Like we're trying to I mean, at the help end people of the day, grow. The shrimp is not a thing without any of these people. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, I feel so like, like, I feel like some people kind of lose sight of that at the end of the day. They, they give they give I, you know, this is a classic like sellout better than the fans discussion, but yeah, mm-hmm. you can't get better than your people exactly exactly man like i think uh that that triggered me honestly like that triggered me you know i've been in my community building dojo over here and i like oh yeah sensei chris and i i saw that and it honestly just fired me up and i'm like that is gonna that's just not in my opinion the way to do it maybe it's cool for like an exclusive brand for and i get like the exclusivity of it but like we're building a community here and it's real people and we're here to uplift and support them. And if our, you know, goddamn main Twitter account can't follow them, like what's the point, <laughs> you know, like that's stupid to me. I mean, but anyways. I, I, don't, I don't think, I think it's cool. I think it's cool to be exclusive, but like, I don't think we're building a brand based on exclusivity at all. Like we want to be open to, we're the freaking shrimp. We're the little guy, you know? Exactly. We we, like, we we want to be accessible to the to the one follower founder who's just getting into the space and wants advice on how to get started. One hundred percent. You make a great point. The one you know, the one follower founder. It's like so many people aren't on Twitter that are unbelievable yeah. entrepreneurs or investors or whatever it is. And Twitter, honestly, forget. I don't know if this is off topic rant, but Twitter is such like a kind of such an echo chamber it's such like at least because it's literally like the people you follow the people that you like and the things you like you just keep hearing the same things yeah and uh, but i think yeah, it's, it's even it's, you know. it's even i see myself i find myself like i mean i can say unconsciously but it's like if it's if you're talking about it, it's not unconscious but like you look you'll go like click on someone's page and you'll check their follower account and it's like it, it, just like you said there's so many founders out there who probably have never made a tweet and don't give a shit at all about Twitter. And it's like, Mm -hmm. I promise you, they are probably providing more value to the startup business tech world than, you know, uh, just any, a lot of people. (laughs) Did you see the the bot? Did you see the bot? Like we keep getting hit up on like all the comments of our, of our post by all these bots or whatever, like, you know, influencer accounts. And one of them has like 600,000 followers. Yeah. That's what what I'm I'm saying. And they're literally like, first thing is like NFT promoter, like cryptocurrency, like it's savant, like, bro, you're a robot. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. uh, It's uh, it's a wild place. Sum that up. Follower count is overrated and doesn't mean shit. Yeah, and shrimp follow shrimp. So join the shrimp follow shrimp. Join the list. Tweet at us. DM us. However, we'll get you on that list. And it's gonna be a pretty, uh, pretty awesome list to be a part of. I just got, just got, just got a mail in from from a fan, actually from Brian. Brian just <laughs> said that the shrimp are going to metaverse space, and we have a desolate oh. NFT. Which is, uh, I don't even know the whole story, but it's like, you can create your own planet. So we're going to be creating Shrimp Planet, which is going to be awesome. That's that's new this week. Hot off the press here. But I want to look that's, into Desolate That's more, new like, today. Desolate, Desolate minted today, right? Yeah, they minted today. They sold out in like two minutes. That's crazy. That's a, yeah, well, that's they, a Solana they, project, huh? Yeah, Solana project. They were posted on like Magic Eden. They did the whole launch pad thing. So Magic Eden has like launch pad, which is like, I think they take a cut. I think they got to take a cut or like, 
I haven't looked into it that much, but it's kind of like they're you're you're selling through them, like you're minting they, like, on their you. site. Pretty, they promote you. You're minting through their yeah. site. Yeah, okay. and then, so it's like they're fast track, and I'm sure they're taking a percent of profits or something. But I mean, which but I'm sure cool. that, that's almost a guarantee. Instant sellout. I feel like any project promoting on Magic Eden, like at this point, like just in the the stage, the space is in. Like, because mm-hmm. I feel like that's the ultimate vouch of like, oh, this is legit, and that's probably the main worry, at least for my perspective. Perspective when I'm looking into projects, like I'm like is this a legit project or is this going to be an instant rug, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I feel like, I feel like if you're on magic Eden, like that, that's a pretty big vouch. Yeah. Especially, especially with the concept as cool as desolates. Yeah, it is. It is super cool. We've been building out our, our portals in it as well. Me, me, Burley and K Ross were in our, our portals, which is like this metaverse room that we have. So the mm-hmm. shrimps have a portals and honestly, great call. Probably the best, nft play i've ever had because most nfts that i have gotten have gotten rugged so i'm like oh for <laughs> a lot <laughs> like oh, the shrimp is lot. the shrimp is the shrimp is the best one but portals great play it's up to like 30 30 soul floor wow uh, yeah and i, I think we, we sco- cool. i think we scooped it for like 12 yeah um, so i actually i actually tried to hop into the portal space whenever you Burley, and k ross were in there and my laptop, I'm pretty sure there was physical smoke coming out of it. You know, <laughs> it was not. And then I tried to hop on the PC, which is actually a hand-me-down from the office of the company that I work at. So it's not even like the most <laughs> up-to-date office computer. You know what I mean? So you know yeah. it's just I same thing, dude. I tried to get on there, and it was bugging, my friend. It was yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to me while I'm trying to run Riverside for for Shrimp uh. Tail Take One. <laughs> it uh. was just like blowing up. We gotta figure that out. But hopefully, this recording. We're, we happen. need to figure out some system upgrades. I'm gonna start. Yeah, I, I need Geek I'm Squad. I'm, I'm gonna Geek hit up squad. Facebook Marketplace and be like, hey. If anyone got <laughs> a, a super nice MacBook for Christmas and wants to give me their like cruddy MacBook. Hit my hit my line. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's uh let's talk week ahead. We actually have a, a good week ahead. Obviously we're we're here launching yep. Shrimp Tales, but we got Alpha Night tomorrow night. Yeah. I'm super stoked for that. We have Bad Frank, Frank from the Shrimp, who's gonna be talking all about DeFi and staking, I think specifically. We also have Blockhead who's been MIA, MIA Blockhead Dude, off the grid. We need, we need to reconfirm with Blockhead that he can make he's, Alpha Night because I know he's in Florida. Yeah, he, he's in Florida. He, I was going to meet up with him yesterday, actually, but he's on like a family vacation. So I'm yeah. like, hey, man, I'm not trying to crash oh, his okay. family vacation. He's, he's just, so. uh, okay. I didn't he's know chilling. he was like disconnected, like he just, you know, ghosted. Like, where did Blockhead go? Like, <laughs> rug, Blockhead rug, dude. He rugged yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that would have been miserable. I would have cried. That's good. All right, no, family no, vacation. Like, I guess that's an excuse to check out for the shrimp for a little bit. For sure, everybody's everybody's got to reset. Everybody's got to spend time with the fam. So. The shrimp is my yeah. family, so I mean, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Same. But yeah, Blackhead's gonna be talking about Blackhead's running algo crypto algo like trading play on Crypto Hopper, and I think he's like making bank on it. Like he's definitely positive. It's making really returns. Cool. It's really um, so cool. I, I, I'm super excited. We're gonna do that in the reef lounge because you can just, uh, screen share and everything. And that, so that's a cool. that's a that's a shrimp only Benny. That's a that's yeah, that's shrimp spaces. only. Yep, that's gonna be in the Discord. So it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited for that. I'm gonna, that's be, gonna be doing that's gonna be weekly, right? So people can like try out or submit to be on Alpha and I, right? Exactly. Yeah, I think it's really just you know I I think we're probably gonna have like a couple of you know residents that are on deck you know like burley's mr mr yeah. alpha over there so he's always making plays he was like tell me about some crazy shit this week that he was getting into so him we also have richter who like richter is one of the biggest nft dgens in the shrimp society and he's like a total sleeping giant but he he made quite a bit of money in 2021 on nfts like a big a very big amount honestly so I think he's going to be getting more involved with Alpha Night, dropping some Alpha, and uh, cool. Yeah, and then and then we'll have different people come up and just be like, you know, hey, I I know a lot about 
Terra Luna, or I know a lot about. Oh, actually, know who we're gonna have on is the the Dash guy. I forget his name right now. I think it's Ernesto. Yeah, yeah, he's, it's Ernesto. He's like, yeah, he's super. He's also he's a nifty advisor. He's yeah, he's Isn't deep he? with is, Dash. Oh, yeah, you know, like Dash the, the crypto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the same guy. Yeah, but yeah, he's a shrimp, and he's uh, he's gonna be coming on the next Alpha Night to talk all about Dash, which is something that I'm pretty interested in because like Dash has been around forever, like. Back in 2017, when I was in the crypto space big time, like Dash was was up there. You know, Dash was a top fiver, and I don't really know how it's still around because you just never hear about it. But it's obviously doing well. I mean, he's he's on the team. He's on the Dash team, so things are yeah. He's head of business, business development. Yeah, so things things are going good over there. I'm excited to learn about that. He's going to talk about like Dash DAOs as well. I have no idea about that. So yeah, the Alpha Channel is going to like gonna be nuts oh speaking of that the ultimate DeFi legend who i can't even say his name he texted us today and asked us to, like to go anon for sunday dinner we're gonna have an anon okay. sunday dinner that yeah awesome uh, so that's this so guy, sick i'm so intrigued yeah i'll i don't know I'll, I'll call him bob bob is uh a mutual friend of of me and brian's and and luke's and um literally the smartest guy i've ever met in my life just like hands down just like any topic just the most the smartest person and he got into finance and kind of went the finance route and was working at hedge funds doing like quant trading all this crazy stuff like big math guy you know what i mean like big equations (laughs) and quant trading all that stuff just like you can't even talk with him without like you know just your your wheels spinning but (laughs) he's promised to dumb down DeFi for me and for everybody else listening as much as he can because he was actually like starting a DeFi hedge fund like a multi multi million dollar oh, DeFi wow. hedge fund and he had big commits and uh, now he's going to a huge billion dollar family office where he's going to be running their whole DeFi trading desk basically wow and he's a beast dude an absolute beast i i'm very that excited of that i might have to pull up with a notebook for that sunday dinner yeah honestly. like yeah for sure he's like you know you know in the big short you know brad pitt who's like yeah, yeah he's like he he rem- i don't know he's not like mean like that that's exactly that's a bad example i take that back <laughs> but there was just there was just one situation where like we just had to like call him for like a DeFi uh, help and question. And he was just like that lifeline of just like the absolute expert. You know what I mean? He's the guy to call. Yeah. He's, he's the guy. And he's like, we can take you in at this and take you out of this. We get you here. We got to go to Uniswap. We got to <laughs> do this. Oh, stop. <laughs> like, oh God. Uh, hey, like, look, but, bro, I can just hand my control of my computer over to you and you can just do it for me. Yeah. Every time I talk to him, I'm like, you know, Bob, take my money. Just take my money. Tell me where to deposit <laughs> it. Just you can have it, and I hope you can make more money with it. Bro, but, do uh, you so, accept Venmo? <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, Sunday dinner is gonna be like good stuff, and he's a he's a great person. So I'm excited, and it's awesome that he's gonna go anonymous. So I gotta redact his name from the current. That's this but yeah. Week. So that's this week, this Sunday. We got Alpha Night tomorrow. I know we got a poker night cooking up. And I know there's also going to be a jumbo dinner up in New York. So that's going to be pretty cool. That's next week. I think we're working on one in Miami as well, like a jumbo dinner, a select card dinner. So we got to kind of like get organized on that. But yeah, man, I mean, I think that's, I think that's a, a great first shrimp tail. Yeah. Not we'll, a nice uh, wrap on the Sunday dinner discussion. Exactly. We come full circle here. So I like this. Uh, I like this framework. We got to definitely throw it out to, to the shrimp and and see what they think and uh, and go from there all right everybody well that is shrimp tales 